Welcome to today's lesson. Today, we're going to paint a lovely little lamb. And please stay tuned and stick to the end of this lesson to see what my next lesson will be. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint, and put some water in your palette. In today's lesson, we're painting a lamp. I went on the internet and looked at photographs, and here is the one that sparked my imagination and attention. Now, in this one, I did make a template, and here's the template I made from tracing from the photograph. You will want to put your template about the middle of the page. Let's start with our liner brush. Now, the lamb is white, but there's white to various shades of gray to black. So first, we'll need to make some gray. Take your liner brush and get some white on your palette here. Need a little bit more water here. There's enough there. Now I'm using my middle palette here to make some of the dark black color. And to make that mixture, use burnt umber with a touch of ultramarine blue. And there is a nice gray. Now I have some of that color on my brush, so I'm gonna just come over here to the white and add the white, because I don't want it as dark. I want it a little bit lighter. And you can see it is quite a bit lighter on your palette here. So let's go ahead and trace this lamb. Just going around. Like that. And then lift it up. There we are. Okay, then what I like to do next is wet your brush and let's spread the line so it doesn't look like a line. And we're going to use some of that to build the shapes in, that we need on the lamp. So you can just wet your brush straight with water and start spreading that paint. Now if you think that some spots got too dark, you can just use your paper towel and blot it a little bit like that. You want to go all the way around your tracing there and fade that line. And wet your brush as needed. If it feels a little dry, dab it in your water jar there. And try and have a relaxed grip. And don't think about the things you need to do. Be here now. And right here, I'm going to pull the paint. This is where his chin is. Or her. And then continue over here. To fade that line. Don't want it as dark. That's looking better. Okay, that's looking much better. So there's the start of our lamb. Now let's use some of the 
color that's on our brush. I'm going to take some of this light gray I have on my palette and put some right here forming the chest. This is where the chest of the lamb is. And bring that down a little bit here and some over here like that. It's just giving the impression of the legs. I'm not going to do all the legs, just, just the impression. Spread that paint some more. A little more like that. That's looking pretty good. All right. Now let's give this a quick dry. And I know sometimes when you are doing a painting and it's in progress, it doesn't look great and you might think, oh, this is terrible. Be patient kind and gentle and loving to yourself and keep working on it. Now let's do the eyes. The eyes are very dark black. So again we need to make some of that mixture. Now this color right here is too light. So I'm going to mix burnt umber here on my palette and some of the ultramarine blue Get more of a black, dark color. That's a little bit, I need a little more blue. And you can always test the color on a piece of paper or your paper towel. That looks pretty good. Now, the eyes, there's one about right here. And it comes down and it's a circle. And a little bit like that. Now on the other side, the eye is about right here, close to the ear. Same thing as you want to do a circle and a line like that. And then it has a dark spot on the chin. Just a patch, and that's about right here, like that. Then go ahead and rinse your brush out. Now let's do the ears. The ears, there's a pinkish color. So I'm going to clean this part of my palette out and put some of my white and mix it with crimson to get that pink color. Now the crimson is a very strong color and you just need not very much to get that pink color. Just a dab. That's not too bad. And that makes that really nice pink color. And that's right in the ears here. Like that. And then the lamb's nose is pink. And it's right above the patch of that dark patch. Now, to make the nose, you want to put it right here, and it's a little bit of a triangle shape. We're going to put some detail in it, but go ahead and make a little triangle. And then there's a line that comes down, and then the start of the mouth. And there's some pink around the mouth. So I'm going to add some of the pink color like that. Now, that color ran a little bit. That's okay. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's give it a quick dry. 
because I want to put some color around the eyes, but I don't want it to run. I want to set the paint that's already there. So now let's build some of those shadows. Even though the lamb is white, there's still slight different coloration in that. So I have some of the lighter gray here, and I'm going to use that and put some up here by the head so the ears are going to stand out. Now if it's too strong, easy solution two ways. You can dab it or just add some water and spread it. I like to use water first and spread it. And then if that I'm not satisfied with that, then dab it. Let's put some over here. Spread some more. Get by the eyes here. That's looking pretty good. Need to reload my brush. Load your brush as needed. Put some of it over here. Like that. Some over here. The lambs has this kind of furry, fluffy feather, and putting some of those dark shape will give you the impression of some fluff. Spread some of that here, like that. Now, underneath the chin, it's casting a shadow. So we need to add some contrast so that the chin stands out and it's not lost. I'm going to start with using my dark color that I already have mixed here. Just put it below the chin like that. And then spread it. Add some more water to my brush because I wanna, don't want it to be quite as dark. Just a little more faded like that. That's looking pretty good. Then I want to add a little darkness on the top of the ears here. Just a little bit. Not much. Give it a little more texture and shape. Add a little bit of the dark color here. A little bit darker. Like that. And spread that paint. That's looking pretty good. Now, Let's work on a little more definition on the chest here and where the legs are. I have some of the dark mixture here already, so I'm going to use some of that and put some a little bit on the belly here and a little bit over here. Not much, just I want to faint. Again, it's giving the illusion or the impression of the leg there, the other part of his body. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's give it a good dry before we go on. Okay, now let's work on this nose a little bit. The nose is pink, but there's a shadow of where the nostrils, and then it gets darker. So let's use 
some of our burnt umber and put a touch of, of the crimson. And then just dab a little part there that the sign of the nostrils. And then where the mouth is, a little darker where the mouth is like that. And with that same color, we want to add some shadows where the ears is. There's some really light, light pink, and then there's some darker areas. To do that, you need to use burnt umber and a touch of crimson. And just at the base there, there's a darker shadow. You want to leave some of that white pink, light pink, like that. That's looking pretty good. I like my little lamb. Now, when you look at a lamb, they have really long lashes. So I'm cleaning my brush here. I'm gonna dry it because I want more paint and less water and dip it in the white and make some of it has white lashes on the eye there. And you probably will want to put it like right there. Just some lashes. Those lovely lashes. Wish I had them. And I put a arch where the lashes start. That's a little bit dry. I'm going to add a little water. Not much and put some of those lashes that we wish we had, like that. And then by the chin, they also have some little hairs just kind of sprouting out. I'm going to put a couple little hairs on that chin, chinny chin chin. It's just a very small detail and faint. Let's start with the background. Now, this is a little bit larger space, so I like to use my round with pointed tip brush. Let's use our viridian let's use our viridian green with a touch of ochre. That makes a nice green. And let's start right here and start at the edge where the lamb is and then start spreading the paint. Just go along. And I find that a little bit of the watercolor will go a long way and sometimes you just need to add water to your brush. And this style that we are doing is vignette and I really like it. It just makes it simple. It makes it simple and helps you focus. Because I think sometimes when you start a painting, you may be overwhelmed trying to get every detail. Just relax and look what catches your attention, not every detail. Need to put some of that green up here. Now that's a little bit different green, but that's okay doesn't have to match match it perfectly. That's what photographs are for. Need to put some up here. Need to add a little more of the green on that one. If you have too much yellow ochre, it will turn more of a brown color.
there. That's uh, that's much better. Bring it up and around. Come around this way. Down the side here. Now, when you reach this point, there's a patch of grass that stands out. I guess the mower must have missed it. I need to mix some more of that paint. And again, you don't want too much yellow ochre because it will turn it more of a drab, brown, green color. I want more of the yellow, greenish color. Now, right here is that patch of grass it's just didn't get mowed the mower somehow missed it but this little lamb likes that it's like oh man some fresh grass yum 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 and let's spread some a little bit over here not much just a tiny bit like that that looks pretty good Let's stop and give it a good dry. Now the very last thing that we're gonna add is this lamb, it, it sees the grass and it thinks, I need a bite of that. So let's take our liner brush. I'm gonna wipe my brush. I want a little bit more paint and less water because we're gonna make a strand, a wisp of grass that the lamb grabbed from this long, long grass. And it's coming out the side of the mouth and shooting out like that. And this is a nice, healthy piece of little grass. Just going to add a little detail like that. Want a little more kind of interesting blade of grass that that lamb picked up to munch and have his lunch. So sit back and look at your little lamb and pat yourself on your back. And I really enjoyed having you today. Have a great day and take care. In our next lesson, we're going to paint a cute little colt, and I can't wait to see how it turns out next time.